Wow, that tea is so good. Konnichiwa. Welcome to Japan. One of their most famous beverages in Japan is tea. So we have enjoyed some tea and we are going to travel to Japan today. We are getting ready for the trip of a lifetime. Uh, not only does Japan have fabulous tea, they have delicious food, a fascinating culture, and a wonderful, beautiful landscape. Yes, they do. So let's look at some of the, let's look and see where Japan is at before we get started. Here we are in the United States and we're going across the Pacific Ocean to the continent of Asia. Right here on the edge is the islands of Japan. There are four main islands in Japan, but over 6,000 islands make up the whole country of Japan. That's a lot of islands. That is. And Mount Fuji is the highest peak in Japan. And uh, it is a volcano that has a cone shape on top. Uh, and then there's Japanese cuisine. Um, they eat a lot of fish, rice, and fruits and vegetables. So speaking of fruits and vegetables, let's look and see what products are produced in Japan. In this bowl, we have leeks and sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, cabbage, carrots, eggplant, and spinach. And in this bowl, we have peas. They also produce apples. Of course, they use different varieties in Japan than we do here in the US. They also produce pears, but theirs are round versus pear-shaped like ours. They also produce bananas, kiwi, and also oranges. So speaking of food, we are going to the kitchen today and going down memory lane with our recipe. And we're gonna do a really neat art project that is uh, making a painting of uh, cherry blossoms. So we'll see you in the kitchen. Today we are doing a recipe that brings back lots of memories. And it was from years ago, well, maybe a couple years ago. And it was called Oriental Skillet Vegetables. And it had lots of vegetables in it, as well as a sauce. And we made it for a 4-H presentation. And so Denise will tell you about the sauce that will go in the recipe. We have two tablespoons of vinegar, a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika, and two tablespoons of sugar. So a sweet and sour sauce. Yes. And we're just gonna mix this, and then we'll use it a little later. All right, that looks good. And while she's mixing that, we will go through the vegetables. And also, before you start, make sure your skillet is heated to about medium, and you will add two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we will add our vegetables. And first we will add two cups of cabbage. And I've added a little bit of red cabbage just to give it some color. And then we will add one large onion. And then also two carrots. And one tomato. And a cup of celery. Shall we get all of those out? and a pepper, a half of a pepper, and you can use green peppers, orange peppers, or yellow peppers, whichever one you would like. And then also a cup of broccoli. So that is lots of good vegetables in our Oriental skillet. And I will now turn up the temperature. And Miss Denise is going to put the sauce on it. We are going to give that a stir to make sure all of that good sauce is in here. It already smells delicious. Yes, it does. And in Japan, they use a lot of vegetables, not a whole lot of meat, mainly vegetables. So they always cook really nutritious meals. So we'll let that Start cooking and steaming for about three to five minutes. And we'll add the lid on there. And while that is going on, 
Miss Denise and I are going to show you or attempt to show you how to use chopsticks. So after you take them out of your little package, your chopsticks, if you'll put one on top of the other, and I'm left-handed, so I've got mine in the left and Ace is right-handed. <laughs> so your thumb and your index finger goes on the top one and you can move it. The bottom one stays stationary. So something that's good to practice with first is using popcorn. So I'll see, and Miss Denise will see, if we can pick up a piece of popcorn with our chopsticks. Yay. Yay! Probably not best to try rice first. That is true. <laughs> rice is a little hard to use. So that is something that you can do and start learning how to use chopsticks. And then once our skillet vegetables are ready, we'll attempt it with the skillet vegetables as well. So let's check on our oriental skillet vegetables. Wow, they smell mm, so good. They do smell good. So let me serve up you some, Miss Denise. So colorful. Mm -hmm. That's so good. good for you. Yes, definitely. Put some in my bowl. And these are just perfect. Thank you. They're crispy. And we're going to try them and use our chopsticks. Oh, I got a piece of broccoli pretty fast. Whoops, and there it goes. Mm. That's really mm. good. These are delicious. And they're still a little crunchy, which is what you want. So make sure you leave it in there for about three to five minutes and get your parents to help you with it. And this is our Oriental Skillet Vegetables. And thanks to Pam Ooten because she was the one that created that sauce many years ago. She was. Cherry blossoms are the national flower of Japan. They grow to about 75 feet tall. Now in 1912, the Japanese gave the Americans about 3,000 trees uh, to enhance the growing friendship between the Japanese and the Americans. Those trees are planted in Washington, D.C. In 1965, our First Lady of the United States, Lady Bird Johnson, gave about 3,800 more trees. So there are lots of pretty um, cherry trees planted in Washington, D.C. Their peak bloom is about the first week of April, and there is a big festival in Washington, D.C. Uh, to celebrate those cherry blossoms. To celebrate the cherry blossoms, we're going to make a, a painting um, that you can use just plain cardstock with. Take a magic marker and just freehand some branches to just to serve as an empty branch to color on. You're also going to need a couple of colors of acrylic paints, which I have here, both pink tones. You're going to need a couple of Q-tips, and that's all you need. It's a very simple and easy craft. So just take a magic marker or a crayon and draw on your empty branches. And we're going to take the paint. I'm going to use the darker color first. Dip it in the Q-tip and just dot it onto the branches just like that. Now you can switch and use the lighter color pink to give it a little dimension, like that. If you notice in these cherry blossoms, it's two different colors of pink, one light and one dark. So we're going to continue to dot on our painting. This is what your finished product will look like when you get it finished. Look how pretty that looks. These are some others that we've done previously with darker colors and with a lighter pink. And this one just has really light touches on it. All still very pretty. All will be your artwork, so it will be beautiful. 
We've had a fantastic time traveling to Japan today. We have. We've made oriental skillet vegetables and learned how to use chopsticks. And we've made this pretty painting of cherry blossoms. We look forward to you traveling with us next week as we travel to Greece. Sayonara! Sayonara. A while so the paint will dry, but this is what your finished product will look like. This is what you might use or find. Really? <laughs> First is two tablespoons of vinegar. You need a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika and a two teaspoons of sugar so that it's a sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> two tablespoons. Oh. <laughs> 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 and see if we can eat it. Whoa, this is doing better it. than me. <laughs>